What's up, YouTube? What's up, Foundation Nation? We back again, man. We back again. As y'all know, as I say a lot of times, hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Hit that share. Like I always say, I ain't worried about the comments, homie. Because <laughs> y'all going to comment regardless, you know. The comments going to be there. But yeah, do that for me, man. You know, as a YouTuber, like I always say, that's our life's blood, man. When y'all hit that subscribe, that like, and that share, man. You know, I ain't finna come with no bunk videos, no bunk stories. I'm finna come with it, homie. So go ahead and hit that. Hit that. You can go ahead and hit the like now. You can hit the like now. Because if y'all been rocking with me, if y'all part of the Foundation Nation, y'all already know it's finna be jumping. It's finna, I'm gonna give it to you. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and hit that like now, man. Go Just hit the like. And settle on back. You might want to pause it and go get you some popcorn. Uh, go get you something to drink and kick your feet up, man. And uh, get ready to laugh, get ready to trip. You know what I'm saying? Just get ready to get your crip on. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. For those that's blood, get ready to get your blood on. You know, it's all good in the AG hood. You know, that's real, y'all. But anyway, so uh, as you can tell by the title. This is a story about, man, when I got caught by the Inglewood families, man. Now, I was going to just take it to that point right there and stop it. But um, you know what? I'm going to take it all the way back to the beginning on how I even ended up in Inglewood, period. Because, you know, I'm from the east side, homie, straight up. I ain't got no business in Inglewood. Ain't nothing in Inglewood especially back then in the 70s, that I wanted to see, hear, know, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Especially who I had to go live with, which was my pops, who I didn't know from Adam's cat for real, for real. But anyway, okay, I'm going to start from the beginning and take it all the way how, take it all the way to how I had to end up in Inglewood when they caught me. Okay, man, here it is. Man, it's back in the 70s, man. You know, I was getting I was getting a little out of hand. Mom, you know, moms couldn't really deal with me no more. You know, it wasn't nothing but me and my sisters and uh and moms. She couldn't really do nothing with me no more, homie. You know what I'm saying? I had started gang banging. And um it was it was all right until she found out I was gang banging. And um, you know, she was she was totally against that. Mom's old school, old fashioned, you know what I'm saying? She she never would say gang banging, she would always say bang ganging. You bang ganging. So when she I remember the first time she found uh my blue rag, she didn't really she really she didn't really know what it was about. She didn't really know what was up with it. But you know, after a while she would always start wondering, you know, you know, why why are you why do you have these blue bandanas all over? Why you always got these blue bandanas? And I would like I wouldn't let her see it hanging out of my pocket. I would tuck it and then when I got out the house and got on, you know, say down down the street in the hood or whatever, I would go ahead and pull it out. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, she she just didn't know. But as time went on, she started figuring something when, uh, uh, you know, other, you know, older people in the neighborhood would tell her that, oh, well, you know, I seen Tony at South Park. I seen Tony uh, hanging with uh, the, the, the bad boys. Um, I seen him here. I seen him there. I seen him doing this. I seen him doing that. I heard he did this. I heard he did that. So, you know, eventually mom's kind of keyed in on me and like, you know, what's going on? What's happening? You know, okay, we can go round and round and round. I ain't going to give you all the detail because that's going too far back into the, the what the story really going to be about. But anyway, so when she st finally figured out that I was in a gang. Oh man, you know how you know them old fashioned black. Folks. Oh Lord, oh what you doing? Well you you gonna get killed, you gonna get hurt, you going to jail, you this, you that, you this, you that. Yeah, you know. But now you know back then, don't uh, you know, at the age of 12, 13, 14, you know, we as we as young men, we don't we don't care. We don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? At that age, don't nothing matter to you, period, but the set. That's it. That you know. That, that I mean. I mean. That's just it. And that's all. Don't doesn't matter. But the set. So um, we got to the point, man. I remember, man. She used to hide my blue rags. Uh, she used to hide my little brownie gloves. I don't know what she thought that was. I just go to the to the liquor store, and and you know what I'm saying thirty nine cent back then twenty nine cent just buy another you know blue rag. It wasn't no thing. But anyway, 
she got to the point where she started sending me out of town to different family members' houses in different different places. And that was a no-no, man. I did not want to go. I didn't want nothing to do with that. Um, we would get there. I Well, I would get there, and um, it wasn't no more than about a month or two before either I'd run away or, oh, shoot, I'd run away or either I'd tell them, look, Send me back home. Send me back to L send me back send me back to LA or or I'm gonna run away. You know what I'm saying? That that that's that's that that's how that story went. So um you know I, I kept coming back. Cause I you know I kept coming back. Now the, it was hard the harder places when she would send me out of state. That's when I would hit him with the hey man, look, send me back home. I don't like it here, I don't wanna be here, send me home or I'm gonna run away. And, you know, once or twice had to, you know, had to get up and go. So mom's got to the, you know, she started getting to the realization after about a year or so, she can't do nothing with me. She can't stop me. I'm in this gang. I'm not leaving the gang. I'm not finna stop. I'm doing what I'm doing. And that's just that. Simple as that. So now here it is. She figured, okay, well, last resort, I'm going to send you to your daddy. My daddy, Really? I don't know him. Who is he? Who is my daddy? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to send you to your daddy. So I'm like, you know, you who you finna send me to? I don't know this man. I've heard of him. I've heard stories of him, but I don't know him. You know? You know, I, I just didn't. You know, that was a typical, you know, that's a typical thing. In a lot of black families, it's sad to say, but that you know it is what it is. That's what it is. So make a long story short, he stayed in Inglewood. At the time, he stayed right there on like 84 from Crenshaw, right by a split, um, right like right across the street from the old Ralphs that used to be on the corner of uh, Manchester and Crenshaw. He stayed on the street right before you get to it, and that was familyhood. So anyway. Mom sent me to stay with him. Okay. Like I say, I didn't know this cat from, from Adam's cat. Period. So when we got to the house, you know, and I had and I had resentful, I had resent in my heart for him. Because I do remember as a little child, um, him calling and saying, Well, uh, you know, have him ready. I'm gonna come pick him up. You know, telling me on the phone, what you doing, boy? Hey daddy, uh, I'm coming to pick you up today. I'm gonna take you with me today. And, uh, you know, as a young child, that was like the highlight. You know, I didn't know my father. So I'm thinking, oh, man, I'm finna, I'm finna go spend time with my father and woo, woo, woo. And so as a little kid, you know, a young kid, um, on the day that he was supposed to come get me, I remember this happened twice. I'm in the window with my little hands on the ceiling, and I'm just staring out the window. I'm waiting to see this car pull up. What kind of car, I don't know, but I'm just knowing he's going to pull up in the car and come get me. My daddy, my daddy. Anyway. Time goes on, hours and hours pass, and I'm just sitting in this window. My little legs shaking, you know what I'm saying? They get to the point where they they, they they starting to hurt, but I won't leave this window. I refuse to leave the window because I know my father coming to get me, which he never did. Um, I remember times looking back over my shoulder because I heard little noises, and I see my mother standing, back, standing in back of me just looking at me with tears running down her face because she knew... Uh, the low life deadbeat wasn't coming and she knew it was going to hurt me as a little child and she looking at her son standing in this window thinking that his father come to get him and he's not and it hurted her it broke her heart and I you know at, at, at that time as a young child I didn't understand it I didn't know why mama was crying but I knew she was crying and I would ask her mama why are you crying what's wrong and she would just like wipe her tears and like nothing baby it's okay it's okay and uh, she would tell me sometimes, baby, come out the window. Come on. And I was like, no, mom, I'm not leaving. Uh, daddy come to get me. My daddy come to get me. And she would cry even harder. And I didn't. I just didn't understand it then. And um, he never would come. He never came. And as I got older and started understanding that, um, you know, this dude was a real clown. Uh, that's when the hate started coming. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like him. I hated him. I had resentment for him. Um, I didn't even know what he looked like. You know, I just knew uh, he's supposed to be my father. And what he looked like, I don't know. I had got descriptions of him from her, 
But I, you know, I didn't care. So now, you know, years roll on. Now I'm, I'm banging. I'm, I'm grown. Far as I'm concerned, I'm doing my thing. So anyway, um, she got to this point to where she said, "Well, I'm a scene with your daddy." I'm like, "Where, you know, daddy?" I said, "I don't know him. Well, you know, I don't want to go to him." She said, "You going to him? I can't do nothing with you. I've tried. I've tried. I've tried. Uh, you keep getting kicked out of all these schools. You keep fighting. You keep doing this. Uh, you know, your aunties and them don't want you around because you're you're a menace. You're just a bad little boy." I'm yeah, all right, you know, cool, 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 cool. So I'm gonna send you to him. Well, where he live? You know where he lives. So mom's like, he live in Inglewood. You going to live with your daddy in Inglewood? What? Inglewood? Now, of course, back, you know, during in the 70s, you know, if you hear the word Inglewood, first thing come to your mind, bloods. No, I'm not going there. No. Make a long story short, uh, like the Beverly Hillbillies, packed up my bags and I moved to Beverly Hills, that is. Anyway, so yeah, Mom's packed my stuff up. We packed up. We going. He agreed, you know, he agreed to take me. Now, he got another family. He, he done married another bro. Uh, that, uh, she got, he, he ain't got no kids with her, but she got a kid. Uh, the little dude was like about 17. He's about 17. Me personally at the time, I was 13 or 14. I was 13 or 14. And um, she sent me to stay with, stay with him. So I never get the day we pulled up. And um, I don't really know this Inglewood area, period. I don't know nothing about Inglewood. I just know there's bloods out here. I've been through here, you know, because we've been to the Ralphs and, you know, boom, boom, we've been around and, you know, just, you know, going. But, you know, I don't, I don't know the area. I just know it's some blood somewhere around here just because of the word Inglewood. And anyway, so I got out the car. I went and knocked on the door. Boom, boom, boom. She get, she getting out the car late. She getting something out the car. So uh, he answered the door. So when he answered the door, I looked at him. He a big old fool too, about six, five. You know, had a lot of weight on him. So I look him up and down. You know? And uh, he going to look at me talking about, uh, yeah, uh, what you need? The chump didn't even know I was his son. So when he told me, yeah, what you need, I say, which I say, hey man, uh, I'm supposed to stay here, man. Uh, my mama told me that uh my father lived in this house. Oh, he like, oh, Tony, Tony, I'm like, yeah. Uh, hey, how you doing? I ain't because he wouldn't even open up the screen at first. Now he opened up the screen. Oh, hey, what's up, what's up? So when he when he opened up the screen, I back up. I say, man, uh, I'm finna go help my mama, man. Cause I had an attitude, man. I said an attitude. You could hear it in my voice. You could smell it on me. I had an attitude. So I'm like, yeah, man, I'm finna go, I'm finna go help my mama, man. You know, she getting the bag stuff. So anyway, she get the bags. We come in the house. And um, I'm looking at him, man. I'm looking at him cold. He can tell I don't like him. I'm looking at him cold. So anyway, uh, you know, him and her, they talking about stuff, talking about, I'm just standing there looking like, yeah, man, whatever. So boom. So uh she leaves. So now he telling me, uh, he introduced me to his new wife. Oh, new or old? I don't. I don't know how long she been around, but his wife. He introduced me to her, and uh, introduced me to the fool that uh, her son. And uh, I'm like, yeah, what's up? I don't even remember that fool name. Her name was Erlene. I don't remember. I don't even remember that fool name. He's a real live buster, homie. I'm talking about whitewashed, weirdo. I'm like, I didn't like how he talked. I didn't like how he act. I wasn't used to that, homie. Straight up East Sider. He, I'm an East Side kid. So you know, this fool over here. You know, he born and raised with a silver spoon in his mouth in Inglewood. Went to these funny bunny little schools and, and whatever, whatever. He talking, looking, acting funny, big old fat red fool. So, um, you know, I didn't want nothing to do with him. He way older than me, but I'm way swifter than him. You know, he ain't got no street sense, period, whatsoever at all. So, anyway, um, I get my room. I get my room. I got to sleep in the room with this fool. So, we get set on it. He got his bed. I got my bed. You know, it's a big, big room, though. So anyway, so you know, time goes on. You know, Pop's trying to talk to him, get acquainted. <sighs> I got like a little old attitude, but anyway. So uh time goes on. He like, yeah, man, your mama sent you, you know what I'm saying? She said you was getting in a lot of trouble doing this, doing that, that, and this, that, and this, and that, and that, and that, and this. I'm like, well, yeah, you know, I guess that's what she say. So uh he like, well, look, we ain't doing none of that stuff, whatever, whatever you had going on over there with her, we not doing none of that over here. 
Um, you know, once you get situated, get yourself together, you know what I'm saying? Everything going to be cool. Uh, when school's starting, you know, I'm going to get you in school and then boom, boom, boom. So that hit, that struck a nerve in my mind. School? Mm -mm. School? Oh, you know, I, I blowed it on the back burner. <clears throat> so they had a dog. They had a German Shepherd named Sugar. I loved her. She was the only thing in the house I really had feelings for was the dog. Boom. So anyway, time going on, time going on. This fool was lazy as I don't know what. Now, he went to work every day. But he was lazy as piss pot. So um, it was every every day he telling me, man, uh, Tony, yeah, come here. Like what, man? Want, want, um, go go to the store. Go to the store. He want to send me over there to Ralph's to go get a uh, to go get whatever he want. He want me to go pick up the dry cleaners. He want me to go go walk to the store. He want me to go get donuts. He want me. He want me to go do all this old stuff. So I'm going, but I got the dog with me. But now the whole time I don't want to walk around here because I'm knowing I'm out of pocket. I'm knowing I'm out of bounds. I'm knowing I have no business over here. So it, whenever I see a group of dudes, I'm like, man, you know, I'm wondering in my mind, in the families, in the families, in the families, you know, boom. So I, in my own little way, I tried to tell him one day after about a month or so, man, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't like just walking. Because he asked me why I won't go outside. I'm always in the backyard with the dog. And um, he's, why you don't go outside? Why you don't go meet people? You know, go play and meet you some new friends and do this and do that, do this and do that. So I'm like, I'm cool, I'm cool, I mean, you know, I'm cool. So, you know, I got to the point where I start telling them, you know, I don't like these dudes around here. Why, why, you just come here, you know. I say, look, they don't like me. They don't like me. He's like, they don't even know you. So, you know, at a young age, I'm not articulate at that time enough to be able to explain to him what's going on in my mind. It's in my mind, but I can't get it out the way I need to to make him understand why I do not walk around this neighborhood or run around here and just do whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's not gonna happen. So um, you know, we 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 moving on past that. So time going on. So eventually we getting close. Now the summer finna end, because it's in the summertime. Summer's ending, we getting close to school time. Getting close to time to go to school. And so uh I, I'm not going to no school out here. I'm not in my mind, I keep telling myself I'm not. So time get closer. Uh it's time to go school shopping. Now, you know, he lame, he lame to the game, period. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't, he don't know what's happening. So when we go school shopping, he don't even key in on all this blue stuff I'm getting. I'm I'm getting blue this, blue that, blue this, blue that, blue, 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 blue. You know what I'm saying? You know that dress code and that color code was in heavy back then. You know what I'm saying? You know, you always remember we talk about in the 1970s at this time right now. So boom. The color code, the color code was deep. The color code was thick. Um, and I'm getting this blue. I'm getting this blue. So he, he, had, he had asked me one time, made a comment like, you, uh, you sure like that blue, huh? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's my favorite color. That's how I'm telling that. Now, you know, I'm getting, you know, you know, other little knickknack, paddywhacks, give a dog a bone, little bitty other little stuff. But 80%, 85% of everything I'm getting is blue. And, you know, he don't know no better. So I'm start, I'm getting to the point now, I'm starting to tell him, I say, look, man, I, I don't want to go to school out here. What you mean you don't want to go? I said, man, look, I can't go to school. I can't go to these schools. <clears throat> I can't go to these schools. So, um, you can go, you can go. What you mean you can't go? So, I'm getting around to the point to where I'm trying to tell him <clears throat> that, man, look, the gang I'm in does not get along with no one around here. And so, I don't want to go to this school. But I don't want to say that because I'm knowing what his attitude is going to be about me and this gang stuff. So, I'm like, you know, what can I do? Oh, now all this is during the time, like I was telling y'all in my last story about how when I went to Carver, I was getting kicked out of Carver and all that. This is one of the things that kind of had made me go, you know, go, you know, mom sent me over here with him to go to school in Inglewood. Cause like I say, I was getting kicked. I was getting kicked out of all these LA, you know, LA school districts. I was getting kicked out of all that. So, you know, till I end up eventually in like echo continuation. But anyway, so now. It's getting closer and closer time to go to school. It's getting closer and closer time to go to school. So the big day comes. So by this time, I done told him, hey, man, look, I'm in a, I'm in a gang, and my gang don't get along with nothing around here, period. My gang does not get along with anything around here. I can't go to this school. 
Now he don't want to hear it. That dog. Oh, you, no, you going to school? That's why your mama sent me to you. I mean, that's why your mama sent you to me. Cause you gotta go to school, and I don't want to hear that stuff. You gonna get an education, and you gonna do the right thing, and woo woo wop and wop wop this, and foop foop de fop fop de fop fop de foop. Man, look, what he talking? It's register is registering in my ear. Like that teacher on Charlie Brown talk. Womp, 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 womp. I don't want to hear none of that, man. None of that. I'm knowing what the demo is, fool. You old. You don't know. You ain't in this life. I'm in this life. <laughs> Shoot, I'm in it for real. But now what can I do? You know, it's a big old grown fool. I can't buck the way I want to. You know, I, I wasn't finna just run away at that time. I wasn't, I wasn't in runaway mode with him yet. I never forget, uh... The first day we go to check in, um, not like I say, I'm still in um, I'm still in junior high school. I'm not in I'm not in high school yet, and um, I, you know what? I can't even really remember the name of this school. People, if anybody listening, and you from the Inglewood area, you probably gonna remember it was um. I think you go, you went, you went straight down Manchester and just kept going. And I never forget you. You you just kept going straight down Manchester, and it was a school. It had some big old big old wide cement stairs that go up the front to the front door. Boom boom boom. You go up. You go up. So bang. Okay, that was the school. It wasn't Morningside, but uh, whatever whatever junior high schools in that area. That's what that was. So okay, here it is. I never forget what I got on. I had on I had on some blue chucks. With some white shoe strings, I had on a blue khaki suit. I had on an all blue khaki suit. I had the blue rag in my pocket, but it was just hanging out, just yeah, a little bit, because I didn't want this old fool to see it and wonder why I got this big old long rag hanging out my pocket. You know what I'm saying? It's hanging out just a little bit, so he can't really notice. I got, you know, I got the whole khaki suit on. I got on some hair nets. I got on like three hair nets with the black golf hat and some lokes on. So. He asking me, why you got them dark shades on? And da 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 da. I'm like, yeah, so I took them off real quick. Boom, put them in my pocket. So I never forget, we pulled up at the front of the school and we get ready to go in. We get ready to go in. We going in. So now I'm walking, I'm walking with them. So when I, all these people, all kids and girls and boys, they immediately keyed in on me. They looking at me strangers. I don't know what. People like, like, what? You know what? 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 So, um, take these off for a minute. So anyway, they keying in. So I'm knowing fools looking at me like, man, what the heck? So we going up in the school. We go in the little office, you know, where he got, he finna check me in and all this old stuff. So now we coming down the hallway, man, fools tripping on me hard as I don't know what they looking like. They looking like, but now, you know, I'm with this big old clown. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gonna, he, you know, he gonna let nobody get me right now. So I'm looking at them hard too. Like, yeah, fool, you know, yeah, what's up? I'm up in here. I was spooked though. So anyway. We get to the office and we sit down. So I guess he waiting to, I don't know, check me in or do whatever you got to do or whatever. So I never forget. But in the whole time of my mind, I'm like, man, I cannot go here. I cannot go to this school. I cannot go to this school. So my mind is churning a mile, a mile a minute trying to figure out what can I do not to go to this school. I have to do something. I have to pull a stunt. I got to do anything that come to my little young mind. To let him know and make him realize that I cannot go to this school. It, no, no, I'm not. You're not finna leave me here and then you gone. And these fools finna get a hold to me. No, 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 no. So um, my mind is so I look up and it's a dude, if the door is down that way, main door, it's you know, all the secretaries, you know, they doing stuff. They got a desk right here, girls coming up, getting their classes and doing this and doing that, and dudes coming in. So anyway, uh one dude come in. And he talked to one of the um, counselors or whatever, you know, she, secretaries, got a long red rag hanging out of his pocket. So I'm looking at it, and I'm like, man. So he gonna, he gonna look back at me. Then he gonna woo-woo, then he walk off. When he walk off, he walk off looking at me. Oh, I'm knowing, oh, that, oh, no, uh-uh. This not, uh-uh, no, uh-uh. We ain't finna do none of this. We ain't finna do none of this. No, not, no, not me, not me. Shh, shoot. I'm looking around. I'm trying to figure something out. Man, I look up, a dude head peeked through the door and looked down there at me. It pulled back. Then two heads look in, pulled back. 
Then three, four heads look in and pull back. And they shaking their head like, oh, yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, okay. And I'm looking. Oh, no. That pretty much sealed. That alone pretty much sealed the deal. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No. So I'm like, okay. Some got to give. Some got to give. Another dude walked in. And they were doing it on purpose. Like he trying to get his classes or talk to the secretaries or whatever. He had a red rag hanging out of his pocket. I said, you know what? Here we go. I ain't going to lie, homie. I jumped up and fired on him. Bam! When I hit him, he spun around. We go to lock it up. Boom, 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 boom. We lock it. I'm trying to make the biggest scene, man. I'm kicking. I'm spitting. I'm hollering. I'm biting. I'm, 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 I'm dissing. I'm doing whatever. Oh, you woo woo woo. And this is woo 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 woo. So now Pops is tripping. They trying to break up the fight. Security them road. They trying to break up the fight. The principal that came out the office. All this old stuff. So they separate us. When they separate us, he, the principal, what, what, what's going on? What's going on out there? What's going on? What's going on? So boom. So he looking around. He looking. He look at me. He look at the dude. He look at him. They like, he tell him, man, take him that way or whatever, whatever. He said, you, 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 who you here with? I'm like, man, I'm here with my with my, with my with my pops, man. My daddy right here. So he said, both of y'all come to my office. Come on to my office. Come on, come on, come on. So boom, we go in the office. The principal say, uh, he said, son, where you from? I said, man, I'm from the east side, homie. You know what I'm saying? You know, back in them said, you know, we'll holler, you know, east side, west side quick. You know, a lot of time before we even holler out the set. I said, man, I'm from the east side. He said, you from the east side? I said, yeah. He said, you a crip? I said, yeah. So the fool, the prince, he look at my pops. He say, sir, your son can't go to this school. So now pops, he lame, stupid, ignorant to the game. He like, what do you mean? He can't go to school. You trying to deny my son his education and you trying to stop him from, what do you mean he can't go? He can't go. Yes, he can. So this prince was like, look, hold on, sir. What I'm telling you is your son is a part, a member of a rival gang to everything in this school. The gang that he is a part of, they are. there are none of them in this school. Now, if he goes to this school, I am not going to try to be responsible for his health and safety because he's going to get into fights every day and it could escalate into whatever it's going to escalate into. So, you know, him, he trying to explain all this to Pops with all these old funny bunny words and stuff. So Pops, man, he hot. He like, man, that's why your mama sent me. See, you come out here, you doing that same thing. <coughs> you didn't got into it, it. I'm sick of it. So we gotta go. I hear him, but it wah, 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 wah again. Man, fool, he ain't talk about nothing, homie. <coughs> he ain't talk about nothing, fool. You yeah, you tripping. You ain't finna get me packed out. No, not no, not me, fool. Let's go. We gotta find some place else to go. Of course, that was going on in my mind. I didn't say it. So anyway, we get in the car, we leave. It's I'm out of there that day, fighting and all that. Now, nah, boom. So we going back to the house. So he he had pops in the car, who banging? I'm talking about he who banging on me. Woo, 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 woo. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of lean way over by the door. Now the fool ain't never put his hands on me. You know what I'm saying? But still, it's a big old fool. You know, I don't I don't want I don't want none of that smoke. Not for real. Not then. So I'm leaning, I'm leaning, I'm like looking at this fool like, dang, try to hit me. I'm 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 diving out the door and getting ghosts. So we get back to the house. So he hot, he mad. He got to go to work and all that. So boom, about about two, three days go by. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no school, ain't no school. But he trying to figure out this school dilemma now, you know? So whew. one day, it was morning, about the third or fourth day, his wife, Erlene, tell me, um, Tony, could you, could you wash the dishes? Now she ain't never asked me to wash no dishes. Never. I don't wash dishes. I had a thing, man. Look, I used to look up to my older cousin. My older cousin is the reason why I became a crip. Uh, he was he was originally out of Compton. He was a he was original. Um, he was original Spook Town crip. And uh, as a little kid, he would come around, and he would always tell me, "Boy, you know I'm crip. I'm this. I'm that. I'm crip. I'm crip." And I'd be like, "Like, you know what's a crip? What, what you know? What are you talking about?" So he would always grab me in the head like. Give me the little knuckle and, you know, tough me up, hit me, boom, boom, boom. You know, let me touch a gun and all type of old stuff. A little old 3080 head or something. <clears throat> and uh, he would tell me, boy, when you get older, you're going to be a crip. You ain't going to be nothing but a crip. You hear me? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So that suck into my mind. I'm talking about that, that, that you know, woof. in my mind, I was like, okay, when I get older, I'm going to be a crip like my cousin Walter. I'm going to be a crip like him. I'm going to be a crip. So you would tell me and my other cousin Craig that, but now Craig, he, anyway. So um, I'm like, okay, I'm going to be a crip at the crib. I'm going to be a crip. So uh, um, time went on. I would, like I say, I, you know, I worshipped him. He told me he don't like women who wear makeup. So automatically then, at the young age of seven, eight, nine, however old I was, I immediately said, I don't like women who wear makeup. Uh, he said, a man not supposed to wash dishes. What? Man don't wash dishes? When he told me that, oh, it was a rap because now, you know, like I say, me, my sisters, and my mama, so, you know, she would, we would all take turns washing the dishes coming up. When the day he told me that, oh, it was a rap. Man, I got I got whoopings for about a month straight till mom finally came to the realization I ain't finna wash no dish. Period. You know, go to bed without food, go to your room, um, whatever, whatever. I don't care. I ain't washing no dishes. Why? Because Walter said men don't wash dishes. And I grew up with that thing, man. You know, I'm talking about that thing for years with that, with that, with that little thing on my mind. So anyway, now here it is years later, this woman done told me to wash the dishes. Now, she ain't never told me wash no dishes. So I'm like, Psh. you know, I'm way in the room. She hollered from her room tomorrow. I blowed that off. Like, man, I ain't, man, you tripping. I ain't finna wash no dish. I ain't washing no dishes. So boom. I'm sitting there looking at TV. All of a sudden, something hit me upside the head. Boom. Pops hit me in the head with a broom. Not hard. You know, the little sweeper broom with the little straws. You know, back in the day, we break them straws out, burn them, and put them in our ears when we first got our ears pierced when we was young. That was a little sweepy straw broom. He just hit me with the straw part. Shh. Look. I'm like, dang. I cuss him. I'm like, dang, cuz. He didn't know what that meant. He would hear me say it so much, he didn't really know. So anyway, he like, man, didn't she tell you to uh wash them dishes? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then wash them. Then what's wrong with you, boy? Wash them. I'm hot. Man, I'm mad now. You know, he do that. Then he going to leave out the door and go to work. I storm into the kitchen. Man, I'm making a little old dish water. Hot, man, I'm in there breaking dishes and all that. So she finna go to work when she ain't left yet. So when she seen I done broke two of her good dishes, uh-uh, get out of here. L uh, leave him alone. I'm going to tell your daddy when he get off work, you breaking these dishes on purpose. These my good dishes. And woo, woo, woo. In my mind, I'm like, woman, I wouldn't give a dang what dishes they are. I'll break every dish in here. Don't ask me and tell me to wash no dishes. I'm a man. Man, don't wash dishes. Especially, I ain't never seen that fool wash no dishes neither. Also, if you want to tell me, you've been washing them. Wash them yourself. Or tell your, tell your, your, uh, your, your fat punk of a son to wash them. With his, with, his, with his half girl behind. Tell him to wash them. I ain't washing nothing. Anyway. So, uh, I bounced back in the thing. So, now I'm mad. Now, I'm hot. I'm mad. I'm mad about this fool touching me with this broom. I'm hot. I'm Then I'm ready to go to. So, you know, y'all got to look. Like I said, at the time, I was like 13 or 14, something like that. In my mind, I said, I'm going to show him. I said, I'm going to poison him. That's what I told myself. I said, I'm going to poison You know, sick little young mind. So, when he, he when, when she left and went to work, he was already gone. He got a bar sitting there. I know all the time when he first thing he do when he get off work, he come in, he get them little them little crystal glasses, and he pour some of that little reddish reddish little alk liquor into it, and he drink it. So what I did, I packed all my stuff up, packed all my clothes up, and um, I say, okay, you know, this where the TV too much TV for a kid mind kicked in. I said, I'm gonna put the, I'm, I'm gonna put some in his drink. And when he drink it, he gonna pass out, fall down, and I'm gonna run out the house and just run away with my suitcases and stuff. <clears throat> you know. Anyway, so I'm trying to figure out what the heck to put in there. I don't know. Bing! I seen some lighter fluid sitting by the back door on top of the washing machine. Some lighter fluid. That squeezy lighter fluid. Man, listen. I took the lighter fluid and squoze. <sighs> Man, I, it was in the little, them little cans, them cans. And I squoze it in that whiskey. I squoze it in that whiskey. What type of whiskey it was, I don't know. I just know it was some nasty whiskey. Reddish colored. So anyway, I shook it up. It was kind of foamy and bubbly at first, but it's settling. I'm like, cool. So I set it back on the thing. I go in the room. I go to packing all my stuff up, getting ready to go. I'm, I'm finna leave. I'm out of here. I, I had enough. So anyway, 
I'm walking through the living room and I have to look over there at the alcohol. This is about an hour or so later. I look, you got the alcohol and you got the lighter fluid that's settled on top. Now, at that time, I'm too young to know that oil and sugar don't mix. You know, this alcohol is full of sugar. This, uh, this lighter fluid is oil based and they're not going to mix. They're going to separate. So I'm like, dang, I didn't, I'm like, oh, okay, I, I didn't shake it up. I shook it up again. Okay, cool. Uh, time goes on. I look at it. I come to look at it again. It doesn't separate it. I do it again. A little time go by. I, it separates. I do it again. And I sit there and I'm watching it now. As I'm watching it, I'm watching it fizzle, bub, and separate. Boop. I'm like, dang, I messed up. I'm a little spooked now. What I'm going to do? So my little mind trying to work. I'm trying to work. So I realized that it took a certain amount of time for it to separate. So I told myself, I said, you know what, self? This is what we going to do. We going to wait till we hear the car pull up. He had that old raggedy cat. Like, he wasn't raggedy, though, but I call it raggedy. I said, we going to wait till he pull up. And before he went, right when he get out of the car, we going to shake it up. And he ain't going to know. It ain't going to have enough time to separate. He going to drink it and pass out. Okay, so I got all my suitcases right there by the door, uh, uh, the bedroom door, by the bedroom door. I'm ready to go. How I'm going to run all these suitcases, I don't know. I'm just tripping. So uh, he come in. He come in the house. I'm listening. I'm, I'm waiting to hear the boom, boom of his body falling. TV, you know, my TV. So I heard a little clink, clink, clink of the glasses, you know, glasses shaking. And, um... I hear the little pop, boop, and all of a sudden I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Then all of a sudden I hear him holler, boy, come here, come here. I said, oh, I said, uh-oh, dang. Young mind told me immediately something went wrong. I said, what? Said, oh, boy, come here, come here. So I, I come down the hallway, bend the little corner. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, what's up? He holding it, smelling it. He said, what you done put in my stuff? What you done did? I said, man, I ain't did nothing to it. I ain't put nothing in that stuff. What you talking about? I ain't did nothing. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Boy, you trying to hurt me? You trying to do something to me? I'm like, no. Man, that fool rushed me, grabbed me. When he grabbed me, he slung me. Whoosh, boom. <clears throat> like I said, you know, at the time, I popped about six, five, three something. I flew over the couch. When I get over the couch, he, he reached back there, he picked me up, and he fired on me. Boom! When he hit me, boy, look, it rocked, rocked this funky joint. Joint, joint. I'm like, dang. Boom, I go back into the wall. He grabbed a trophy. I mean, yeah, a little trophy he had. Uh, some some he golf or some he used to do, but I know it was some type of trophy. And he took it and ran back and tried to bash my brains in. The man tried to kill me, y'all. Ah, boom! And I moved my head, and it went into the wall about that deep. He would have crushed my skull. When he did that, I hollered. Ah! I jumped up. The shirt he had ripped out the front door. I went. Pew! I trucked. I trucked. I went on. So I caught the bus. Went all the way back to the east side and told moms what had happened. He had already called her and tried to give her his version. Bump you! I gave her my version. Mama, 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 <clears throat> So, you know, you're like, well, you ain't got to go back. You ain't got to go back. Well, I'll go get your stuff. I'll go get your stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay. About two days went by. About two days went by. And um, I know everything about the layout of the house. The dog ain't going to bark when it see me. It ain't going to trip. Um. You know, I'm, I'm an Aries, so I'm vindictive. I'm, I'm, I'm with the payback. I'm with the, I'm going to get you back. I'm going to get you back. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's an Aries trait now. So y'all out there who, who mess with them Aries men, just know if you do something wrong to them, they with the payback and they memory long. So anyway, I go back to the house. I know he going to work. I know she going to work. I know how to get in the house and all that. So I get in the house. And the house was laid. Like I say, anybody know how Inglewood, how prestigious Inglewood was back in the 70s? Y'all know, you know what I'm saying? This house is laid. You know what I'm saying? He got, and he got money. So, uh, 
I get up in the house, dog in there with me, jumping around. Let me tell y'all something, man. I spent hours, literally, I spent hours destroying this fool's house. I took, look, I cut up all the furniture with a knife, the butcher knife. I cut up all his furniture. I cut all, I cut the beds up in every room. I went in, I went, I took a hammer and I beat the porcelain toilets and broke them all out where the water ran out. I, I broke all the mirrors. That's probably why I did so much time in prison too, in my life. I broke all the mirrors in the house. I broke the sinks. I beat I beat the thing the little the little where the water come out in the in the in the bathroom and bathtub. I beat them off the handles. I beat all that off. I went in the kitchen. I took uh off eggs in front. The man had thick plush shag carpet. I threw egg bust eggs, flour, uh Kool Aid juice all over the man furniture all over his plush carpet floor. I broke the all the dishes. Um. I beat the things off the washing machine. I br I took all the, I took man I took everything all the food and opened them up, poured it all over the house. I threw canned good food all over his walls. Um, I beat I beat the, the the nozzle for the sink. I beat that off. Um, his uh big old giant uh sixteen chair table. I took knives deep. I'm talking about redwood. There's thousands of dollars for these tables. And I took knives and just all through the man tables. I took all the alcohol he had. I pour I poured all of it on the carpet. I poured it. I poured it everywhere. I, I opened up the cabinet doors in the kitchen and I pulled them. I pulled them and broke all of them off. Everything that was in the refrigerator, I took it out and either throw it on the floor. I took buckets. I took big bowls of water. And threw water all over the place, and I took flour, just slung the flour all over the place where the wet water was. Um, anything I took, like her food, the little bottles of food coloring, and I skeeted them. I skeeted them everywhere. I destroyed his house. I destroyed it. Um, I broke every TV he had in the house. Bust the screens out of every TV he had. Uh, like I said, he had a water bed. I poked it, busted it. Water went everywhere. Uh, I beat, I beat, I beat the toilets in his, in the master bathroom, in the bedroom. I beat and broke them up. I tore everything up. Bust, knocked all the, uh, he had the shower doors where you can slide the shower doors and kind of see through them and be kind of frosty. I broke and beat all that up out of it. I tore all that up. Um, I'm just having a ball, man. I'm sitting, I'm just walking through the house. I sit down, take a rest. Get up, do some more damage. Sit down, take a rest. So now I'm just walking through the house, <laughs> looking for what else to tear up. Cause I did what every all the damage that you heard me just speak about. I did three times. I did triple that damage. I just can't remember everything I did. I did triple the damage though. Everything that could be broke in that house, I broke it. I spent hours and hours and hours sitting there breaking stuff, and to the point to where time got away from me. And I didn't realize what time it was. Um, I'm walking from. I'm walking from the hallway. I'm finna go to the kitchen and look for something else to tear up. I caught a movement from the side and I looked. This fool had came home, and opened up the door and walked in the house and just stopped and stunned. He was stunned. <gasps> he was just looking. He was shocked. Then here I come walking by. And I looked, I looked at him. Man, my eyes got this big. Ah! He hollered, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. And my mind said, self, it's time to go. The patio door was already open because the dog running in and out, in and out, in and out. Man, I turned and I took off. Boom! I'm out the, I'm out the door. He hollered, I'm going to kill you. This big old fool coming too. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. He coming. Man, I shot across that backyard and I hit that back gate. All I heard was boom, 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 boom. Fool took four shots at me, man. I hear it hitting the gate. Back, back, back. But I over the gate. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone now. I'm gone. Man, I'm running. I'm scared. Look, man. 
Scared ain't the word. I don't even know. But did I pee on myself? No, I didn't think so. But I was scared, though. I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm knowing this fool going to kill me. Man, I told, man, I wrecked this fool out. So I don't go, I don't, I don't, um, I don't go straight home. I go to the park where the homeboys at and told my homeboys what was going on. So then by the time I did get home, he had already been to the house, to my mama house looking for me. And so by the time I got home, mom was like, boy, what you done did? What you do? So, you know, I told her what I did. She was like, boy, that man going to kill you. She said, boy, that man going to kill you. She said, I don't think I can stop this one. That man going to kill you, baby. He gonna, Don't let him catch you. He going to kill you. I said, mom, he going to catch me. He going to kill me. He going to catch me. So I went back to the hood. I went back to South Park. And I told the homies. So we had a thing about, we had a thing, man. We had beat, we had beat a homie daddy up. All the homies, my generation, boy, one of your daddies go to tripping. Man, we had beat that fool up. So I told the homie, they like, uh, if he come up here, we going to get him. We going to get him. So I'm like, yeah, we going to get him. So boom. I never see him no more. He don't never come back around no more. I never seen him again. Till later, till years and years later. By this time, I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't start, you know, going to jail. Like I say, went to, went to the uh, continuation, messed up. You know. Anyway, now I'm going on my way to jail. I'm going to Y. I go, I go to Y. So uh, years later, um, one of the time when I got out, I got out, and um, you know, like I say, years done went by at least. Four or five years then went by. So, uh, maybe, yeah, four or five. Yeah, something like that. So, you know, I'm grown. You know, time, you know, water on the bridge, I guess. And so, um, moms get him on the phone one day. He want to talk to me. No, he called. He, and I got out, he called. And he wanted, he talking on the phone. So, boom, he tried to tell me about bygones, bygones. You know, that was old, you know, hey, you know. He wanted, you know, he wanted a relationship with his son, cause I'm his, I'm his only child. I was, I was his only child. So, you know, he wanted a relationship with his son. Um, he don't want to, you know, you know, he don't want us to be that type of way no more, and this, that, and other. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. so boom. So first thing I thought, well, I need some money, man. I, you know, I need some money. I ain't got no money, man. I just got out. I ain't got no money. So he like, he like, yeah, just you know, whenever, just stop by. You know, we will talk, we will kick it, we will talk. I'm like, okay. So time goes on, time goes on. So now, I need some money for real, for real. About a few weeks go by. So I catch the bus. I catch the bus over there. I catch the bus over there. And he don't know I'm coming on this day. He don't know I'm coming. So I get to the door. Boom, I knock. Boom, boom, boom. I knock. Boom, boom, boom. And um, don't nobody answer. I'm like, dang, this fool ain't here. So I'm like, shoot, man. I got to go. He ain't here. So man, I walk up, I walk up on uh I walk up on Crenshaw and I go to the bus stop. I'm sitting at the I'm sitting at the bus stop right there on Crenshaw, right before you get to Manchester, right in front of the Rouse. The Rouse parking lot. It's the bus stop, the sidewalk, then Rouse parking lot right here. So boom. I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting there, man, the bus wanna take all day. The bus take it all day. Bus ain't coming. So now I never I, I I can tell you exactly what I got on. I got on I got on some I got on some blue Pumas with the blue shoe strings. I got on some 501s and I got on a cascade coat that say Mr. Cartoon on the back and I got on a blue wave cap. I got on an all blue wave cap, powder blue wave cap hanging down. Boom. That I never forget that's what I had on. So I'm sitting there, I'm sitting on the bus stop. Time going on bus taking all day. So School had let out, you know. Now a lot of times people know you could you could dip in at this time. You could dip in and out of certain people's hoods. Well, most hoods, a lot of times, was during the school hours. But now, a, the, the hoods in L.A. after school lets out, that's when they get the, the the danger. The danger rating goes up while school is in because most people go on sleep doing this or whatever. But now, when school lets out, that's now that now the youngsters coming up out of school, uh, the fools that been drunk all night done woke up. They out and about, moving around. You know what I'm saying? Some fools and got off work or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But after you know, after about two, three o'clock in the day, the danger rating goes up. All right, it's late in the day. I'm sitting at this bus stop. You know, being stupid. Uh, a little dude walked past me. Now we in like I say, we right here in Eaglewood Familyhood. 
Now we get to the part to where, you know, like you see on, on, the, on the thumbnail, on the, on the title. So, uh, dude walked past me and he looking at me. Little youngster, though. Little youngster. You know, at, at, at this time, you know, like I said, I done did all this time at YA and whatever. You know, I'm out now. I'm a grown man. So, he, uh, dude, little youngster, he walked past me. Look, you know, he keep going. So, in my mind, I'm like, dang, fool was looking kind of hard, you know. So now I'm looking, I'm I'm looking up and down Crenshaw. I'm like, man, this bus need to hurry him. Come on. This bus need to hurry him. Come on. So bang. Bus don't come. So now all of a sudden, time going, time going. This same youngster, he come back. He got about five, six dudes with him. No. They bail right up on me. I'm like, I see them when they coming, though. I'm knowing in my mind. I'm like, dang, here we go. Here we go. So boom. When they walk up on me, one of them dudes say, what's up, blood? I look at him. I don't say nothing. So, so he say it again. He's like, man, what's up, blood? I'm like, hey, 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 hey what's up, man? How you doing? How, I mean, how y'all doing? I'm trying to play the old man role now. You know, pff, yeah, in my, in my 20s. So I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? You know, how y'all doing? They like, man, where you from? I'm, man, where you from? I'm like, shoot, man. I say, look, man, I'm tired. I just got off work. I don't want to hear nothing about this gang banging stuff, man. I'm just trying to get on the bus and get on, man. I'm tired, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm work. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm work, man. I, I, I go to work. I work. Man, the fools don't want to hear none of that. They don't want to hear. Fools say, cut, man. The fools say, blood, where you from, man? Where you from? <clears throat> you look like a whoop, whoop, whoop. You know that word. <gasps> reflex. It, 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 he said it. It, it kicked in on reflex. I said, what, fool? I said, man, it's Avalon Gangsta Crip, homie. So now they, who, what, what? Fool, draw down. Eek! I'm caught. Draw down. Yeah, fool, ain't what family, blood? Woo, 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 woo. whoop de whoop killer this. whoop de whoop killer that. I throw my hands up. I say, hold up. I say, hold on, man, hold on, hold on. No, blood, no, 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 no. <clears throat> so now I'm backing up. I done stepped off the curb, and I'm backing up into Crenshaw. I'm, like, backing up into traffic. <clears throat> this fool finna bust me. So he woofing, all of them woofing now. So the ones on the side telling him, bust, blood, bust, bust on him, bust on him. So now I go to thank him. I'm like, hey man, look, don't do that, homie. I say, boy, if you do it, you gonna go to jail. I say, homie, you gonna go to prison for a hundred years. You ain't gonna never see your mama no more. You ain't gonna never see your daddy, your, your family. You ain't gonna never get out. Don't do it, man. I'm telling you, don't do it. But I'm steadily backing up, backing up. So uh, he looking at me, he looking. He looking at me, he looking at them, because all the ones on the side, they telling him, man, shoot him. Man, shoot that, woo, woo, woo. Shoot him, shoot him. So I'm, he looking at them. I'm like, man, don't listen to them. Don't do it, homie. I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. He looking. You, I can tell, man, he finna pull this trigger. Man, God dang. Now, if I just turn around and break, you know, you know, a lot of times, if you face a fool with a gun, that tends to kind of like bar him down sometimes. But if you turn around and run, <clears throat> for some reason... You, that just gives them the heart to just go to dumping. Boom, 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 boom. So I don't want to just turn around and break. So, you know, we going through all this. Man, two cars pull up into the parking lot. Uh, I never forget, it was a it was a green 66 Chevy or a 64 Chevy, one of them, I can't remember. And it was a it was a uh it was a Dookie Brown uh glass house. They pull up. Boom. I'm like, dang, in my mind, I'm like, dang, I hope this the Raymonds. I hope it's some Crips. I hope, you know, some Crips. I hope it's the Raymonds. Mm-mm. More families. Man, they get out the car. What's up, blood? What's up? Whoop, 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 family. So I'm like, dang. <coughs> I tell you, when you do good deeds, good deeds come back to you. <clears throat> The dude who got out the green Chevy was a dude that I knew from YA. He was in YA with me. And um, it was a dude named Green Eyes from Inglewood Family. He got out the car and I recognized him. Now, when we were in YA, I looked out for him. You know what I'm saying? The homies wanted to wreck him. But now here it is. We was in TS. You, you talk about a whole, uh, you talk about like on a unit, 35 cribs and just four bloods. Um, and the homies wanted to get him, but for some reason, 
I took a liking to the cat. Me and him got cool. We were straight. He worked in the kitchen with me. And um, I used to tell homies, you know, cause y'all raise up off of him, stall him out. You know, don't, don't fool him, don't fool him. And out of respect for me, they left him alone. Cause he had another homeboy that came in there, a little dude named Jimbo from um, NHB from the 20s. You know, he RIP now. Um, he came in and the homies was going to get him. And Green Eyes came to me and he asked me, he said, uh, Tool, man, my, my homeboy, man, you know, your, your homeboy's going to get it, man. Whoa, 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 man, could you, could you? I'm like, I got him. So I ended up getting Jimbo moved, in, you know, come work in the kitchen with me and Green Eyes. And I kept, you know, I stayed in the kitchen all day eating and working. So I kept them in the kitchen with me all day, you know, boom, boom, boom. We come out, you know, the homies left them alone. So anyway, um, I recognized him. I hollered, Green Eyes, Green Eyes. Oh, man, what's up, man? And so he come over there. So, he, you know, he moved a little youngster with the gun. He like, Toon, that's you? I'm like, yeah, homie, man, what's up? I'm like, man, get your homeboys, man. You, you know, your homeboys tripping on me, man. So he like, man, come up. He's like, man, y'all, you know, like, like, kind of like, you know, y'all stand down. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. I know him. I know him. Leave him alone. So, boom. So I come back up on the curb. And uh, he like, hey, Toon, what's up, man? I said, man, what's up, green eyes? You know, I shook hands with him and all that. <clears throat> and he didn't forget what I did for him. He say, man, what's up? I say, man, look, man, my pops stay around the corner, homie. I said, the only reason why I'm in y'all hood, I come over here, man, to um, holler at him. And I was just trying to get on the bus and get on. You know what I'm saying? I ain't over here, you know, doing nothing or tripping on nothing. I said, man, I just come to see my family, man, and, and just get on up out of here. He was like, Tom, why you dress like that, though? I said, come on, God, come on. I mean, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a crib. I'm, you know, this is how I dress. I, I said, but now, you know, I understand I'm in the wrong area to be dressed like this. He said, but now, I'll tell him, I said, look, I didn't expect to run into nobody. I was just going to come in, boom, 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 get on the bus and get on. He was like, man, he said, man, he said, man, you gave me a pass, homie. You gave, you gave me a pass. We was in Y.A. He said, man, I'm going to give you a pass. He said, I'm going to get you up out of here. Now, look, now the bus want to come. Now, all of a sudden, the bus want to come. I said, man, that, that's what's, what's up, homie. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you. He said, look, he said, we even. He said, we even. I said, yeah. He said, look, if you come over here again, dress like this, and you get caught, he said, it's on you. He said, I can't do nothing for you no more. He said, man, you ain't got no business being dressed like this over here. I'm like, you right. You right. I said, look, man, I just I just thanks, thank you for the pass. Just let me get this bus. You ain't got to worry about me no more. Yeah, man, yeah. I get on that bus, and I get on, man. That's that's how I got caught by them families, man. But it, But it don't end right there. It don't end right there, homie. Look, I get on the bus. I'm like, Phew, to the back. You know how we head to the back. So boom, when I get on, I get off, I get off, I get off the bus. This ain't no lie. I got off the bus on on Vernon and Crenshaw, right across the street from the Merck Park. So I'm standing there because I'm finna go down Vernon all the way back to the east side, hit Avalon and you know get off and I'm back in the I'm back in the set. Anyway, so I'm standing there. I had, I had, um, yeah, no, 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 I had my coat on still. So, man, a white Chevy pull up, a white 6'4 Chevy pull up, it's three dudes in the Chevy. Boom. When they pull up, they pull right in front of the bus stop. And they, 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 they looking at me, they kind of looking at me, and I could tell off the rip. I said, oh, them blood. And how I knew they was blood, because all three of them was real black and ugly. Now, you know, people going to think I'm clowning, but now back in the day, you know, you got to be a certain age to be able to relate to what I'm what I'm saying and understand what I'm saying. Because anybody that's like I say in their late 50s, early 60s, y'all going to know we had a we had a stigma as Crips. <clears throat> we had a stigma and a thought of when it came to bloods. And to us, uh, you know, all bloods was real dark and ugly. And all Crips was like light skinned or brown skinned. It had had a few dark skinned ones, but most Crips, you know, what I'm saying was was was, was you know was light skinned or brown skinned, and you know what I'm saying looked at fly. And to us, all all the Bloods was real dark and ugly, like monkeys and gorillas. But if you and but when we see them in jail, that's what most of them look like. So you know that's how we that's how we see. So when I seen these three cats, I'm looking. I'm like shoot. I know what this is. The one in the back seat, they let him out. So when they let him out, I heard him say, all right, good looking out, blood, good looking out. Boom. And they drove off. The one in the passenger seat, he kind of, he looking at me. He looking at my shoes. 
And, but they, they drive off. Okay. So the dude comes stand like almost next to me. Like he waiting on the bus or something too. Which he was. So we standing there. So he turned. But now the one in the passenger seat. I seen him hand this dude a gun. Like a little 38 or something. And he put the gun in his coat pocket. Boom. I'm like dang this fool strapped. They drove off. Okay. So we standing there for a couple of couple of couple of minutes. So the dude kind of turned and looked down at my shoes. And he kind of looked and he looked up at me. I had just I, I just took the wave cap off my head. I just took the uh, the wave cap off my head and had it balled up in my pocket. So boom. So um I'm like, man, this fool gonna key in on these shoe strings. They gonna key in on these shoes, but now he gonna key in on these shoe strings. So boom. I kind of turn at an angle. I don't want them to see the name cartoon on the back of my coat. Because then you're going to know. Oh, man, this fool bang. You know, he a crip. And I know he got this gun in his pocket. All right. So the dude say, hey, man. Man, them goddamn shoes must be freezing your feet. I said, huh? He say, man, them shoes must be freezing your feet. They, uh, they flew as I don't know what. Now, at that time, instead of saying blue. They would say flu. As a crip wouldn't say red, a crip would say dead. So, you know, he said, uh, yeah, them them, 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 them shoes flu is, you know, F U C you know, F U C C. You know, them shoes flu is <clears throat> I'm like, oh man, you know, hey, these just my work shoes, man. I got off work. You know, I work in these shoes. I'm like, man, back in my mind, I'm like, really, man? God dang. So we like, yeah, all right, all right. All right. So I'm like, don't. So I kind of, kind of step back some. I don't want the fool keying in on me, cause now here come the bus. So the bus come. He get on the bus. He get on the bus first. When he get on the bus, I get. I made sure he get on the bus and go all the way to the back. Then I get on the bus. As I'm getting on the bus, it's a whole group of bloods on the back of the bus. About four, five of them. I'm like, dang. So, when I get on, I kind of sit, I sit in the, man, I pay, and I sit in the first seat I can get to without going back there to them. And I done tuck my feet up under the rail. I don't want these, I don't want these big old blue shoe strings hanging out. I'm, 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 I'm out of pocket. So, right when he get ready to sit down, I heard the dude, the dudes that, the dudes that was sitting down, they from Six Dudes Brim. And the dude that was finna sit down, he from VNG. Cause I heard the dude, they knew each other. So the dude like, oh, I heard him holler, oh, what's that brim like? What that brim like? <clears throat> so the so the one, the dark skinned one that's gonna sit down, he like, Van S, Van S, y'all now, y'all know Van S on the bus. Y'all know Van S on the bus. So the dude sit down, they like, yeah, six dude brim, homie, six dude. So they back there talking and chopping it up. Man, I'm like, I got my hand upside my head. I'm trying to look this way, act like I'm sleep. Now the bus crowded though. So they would have had to really come up there just to really key in on me. So I'm like, man. So by the time we hit, I don't know where they was going. But by the time we hit uh Western, I I said, man, I gotta get up off this bus. I got to get up off this bus. Man, I ding 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 ding. Man, I pulled that bell. Boom. I jumped off that bus. And when I jumped off it, I got in back, I got in back of the little the, the sit down the bus stop. And kind of leaned down like I was tying my shoe. Because when the bus took off, you know they're going to be looking out the window at me. They're they, they going to be looking out the window. So I, I turned this way toward the bus. And I leaned down like I'm tying my shoe. I don't want them to see the name cartoon on the back of my coat. And I don't want them to see these blue shoes like that. Boom. So the bus go on. They go on about their business. I say, man, what kind of day is this, homie? I smell. Oh, no, 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 no. Man, I got back. I caught the next bus. I took the bus. I didn't even go to the hood that day. Man, I took my big stupid butt all the way home and went in the house. And I stayed in the house for the rest of the day. I didn't come, I didn't come outside no more that day. It was just too much going on for me. Yeah, it was too much going on. Uh, yeah, so anyway. Man, that's that story right there, homie. That's that story right there, man. I done been through it, man. Your big partner, man. I done been through it with this 
with this gang banging stuff in L.A. And you know, stories like that, man. I got, I got a hundred, I got hundreds of them, homie. It, you know, don't, it don't even scratch the paint, man. I give you them stories back to back to back to back to back. Boom, even you know, in the prison stuff, back to back to back to back to back. Cause I was alive, while homie. I stayed into something. I stayed into it, man. So y'all, man, y'all do me a favor, homie. If y'all enjoyed this one, in case you didn't hit the like and subscribe and share, if you didn't hit it at the beginning of the video, after, now that you done heard it, and I know it's fine, I know you like it, please do me a favor, man. Hit that, hit that like, hit that like button. You ain't got to, if you're looking at it on the phone, it's just right there. Hit the like, boom. Hit the share, boom. If you got partners that want to hear some good street stories, and um, you, you, you know they want to hear them, go ahead and hit them up. Let them know, hey, look, man. Come check this dude Cartoon 5-3 out. Subscribe to his station. Man, you're going to hear some good stories. Let them know, man. Spread the word, homie. Let them know. Subscribe to the station, homie. So y'all do that for your big partner, man. And at the end of the day, you know, it's the Foundation Nation, y'all. So at, you know what, what, how we end this thing? Uh, a gang of don't bang. Avalon. I'm out. Let me put my glasses on, too. You know. <laughs>